session on braking. How many of you have a little bit of a challenge maybe with braking? Just a little bit. So, uh, make this. Don't say she can brake. She didn't bother raising her hand. McLean? There's no problem if you don't brake. <laughs> If I asked level one that, it would be like, well, you're not going fast enough right. to have to break. Really. I downshifted once, does that count? <laughs> <laughs> you break it? What is he doing in our class? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's look at, this is a corner. It's the worst track I've ever seen. Yeah? Well, you should see the one I draw. You should see what I draw when I go to Coda. Yeah. You know, like turn one, I draw this. And, and they gave they, they started laughing and snickering and they really got on that. I don't draw that anymore. <laughs> okay. So we're coming down the straight to enter this corner. We've got a couple of options breaking wise, right? When we start first start riding level one and get into intermediate, what are we doing? We're breaking pretty much finish our braking while we're straight up and down before we turn the bike in. Now that's the safest way to ride a track. It's also the safest way to ride when the track is cold, wet, or a combination of there up. Okay? So you get all your braking done before you turn in in this zone, right? And then you turn the bike in and make your corner real nice and easy. And as we gain speed, as we want to, we gain speed. What do we have to do with our braking zone? No, you do not shorten it. It's well, actually counterintuitive. Later. later. You, you, you do later, but you also do what? It's lengthen. It becomes longer. Your braking zone becomes longer as you become faster. Remember what Tony said this morning that he learned? He broke less, but longer. That was me that told you that part. Yeah. Yeah. No me, the dumb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Almost. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Almost. So, we start off with a breaking zone like this. And we transition to something else. Let's talk about breaking and the rhythm of it. So what do we do? Tell me, guide me through what you guys do in slow motion. If you slowed it down, what would you be doing? Slowly, okay. What you initial set, yeah, okay. So we got an initial set, which is about what? According to Nick Einish in his book, it's about 10%. Sport bike riding techniques, about 10%. That's your initial set to set the front end. It also gets you more traction on the front tire, so then you can do what? Then you can ramp up the braking. You can ramp it up to about 80%. It becomes parabolic. It's not linear. If it becomes linear, then you're going to wind up being probably over here somewhere on the track, right? So you want to set the front, and then, and then it happens really quick, guys. What you want to avoid is what? You want to avoid doing more than that 10% on the set, just grabbing the brakes and setting the front and all of a sudden you're at 80%. What will that do to your front end? Besides crush it. It won't be in the front anymore. Yeah, it'll probably be in the back. You'll probably swap ends on the bike. I mean, you guys actually done braking drills to see how fast you could stop the bike. Good. Tell me what you found out. Bike stops fast. Bike stops fast, Dave said. Faster than you'd ever believe, right? Straight up and down. Once you, once you set and get the traction, unbelievable what these mo modern sport bikes will do with brakes. So I would encourage you, each and every one of you to practice that. Straight up and down braking, pick your spot, set the brakes, get the feel for how much you can do the bike will start the front end what when you start reaching maximum traction the that front tire will start wiggling on you can you hear it I can sometimes you that's can the hear next it. step the next, the next step is you can hear it squealing 
that's a little too far. Yeah. So, so we can do that straight up and down, and then as we progress, what do we do? We do something called trail braking. We're going to trail the brakes into the corner. So we start by moving our braking zone like this. And then we go, and then we go like this, right? We still, we still have to have some up and down braking before we turn in, right? You still have to, but you want to get the majority of your braking done before you turn in. But you're going to wind up lengthening your braking zone doing this. But in the process, now what have you done? Now you've carried this speed to here instead of back here. You carried more speed further. Then you hit the brakes. Then you trail off. Now, what do I mean by trail, guys? What do I mean? Back off slowly. Back yeah, off slowly. back off slowly. Ty Howard, the local legend around here, puts it this way. As you add lean angle, you give back brakes. Real simple. Something you can remember out there. I tell myself that all the time as I'm, as I'm leaning in the corner, I, 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 I tell myself, give back brake, get off the brake, get off the brake, so I, I trail it in there. Now, I want to ask you an obvious question, because Tony already gave you the answer this morning, so I'm going to see how many of you are listening. Where do we brake to? Ah, who said Apex? You weren't listening to Tony this morning. Did you say, did you say Apex? I said it backed off of it. <laughs> he was about to say it. He got it in the time. <laughs> Five second rule. Yeah. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. If you ha uh, how many of you actually trail break? Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong as we do this. You start by approaching it little by little, correct? You trail just a little bit in there and you go, hey, that worked pretty good. And you trail a little further, a little further, a little further until you get the feel for those brakes and learn how much you can do. Now the one thing you don't want to do is trail all the way to the apex. Watch the telemetry and onboard cameras for GP, World Superbike, and watch the green and the red for the acceleration and the brake. They'll never brake to the apex, ever. They let off before the apex. They'll trail all the way down there, but they'll let off. So, at your maximum lean angle, which is your apex, you want to be off the brakes completely, and you want to be back on the gas before you get there. It does a couple of things. What does it do for you? When you're on the brakes, what's the bike doing? It's, it's got a little bit nose down attitude, right? When you get off the brakes and back on the gas, what does it do to the bike? What's the key word there? Right. It settles it, stabilizes it, it stabilizes it. It evens it out. Now it's in the sweet spot of the suspension. That's where I would like my bike to be if I'm at maximum lean angle. How about you? Maximum lean angle, I want the bike to be in the sweet spot of the suspension so that it can do what it needs to do. And I'll leave it alone, it'll be fine. A little bit of power does what? It keeps the bike moving forward. In a corner, when you've got these kind of forces, right, these kind of forces, and you let off the gas, what happens to the bike? All that friction and all that stuff, the bike comes back to the inside. So when you're in the corner, you have to add gas to keep it on the line. Make sense? Have to. So once you crack the gas open to sell the bike, now you never go back never go back on the throttle. If you go back, it tells me that A, you're either scared or you don't have the right line, you're not sure where you're at. You hear him doing this, the bike in front of you? Uh-oh, you got a problem. Could just be a coward. Houston, we got a problem. <laughs> no, no, this is your show. <laughs> I don't have a, well, I have a 250. <laughs> Could be a Cali. So, God, who let that turd in here? So, here's the key. We get set up, do what he talked about, set our butt, get all our body position, brake, 
trail in the corner, let it off, crack the gas back on, settle the bike, increase the gas just a little bit before the apex. Just a, we're just rolling it on, just you have to manage it. Then as you hit the apex, now what are you doing? Now we're standing the bike up and getting on the gas. Right? That's the sequence. I challenge you, go watch your videos with your GP and all that, and watch those telemetry and watch how they do it. Questions? Now, you've got to creep up to this thing on, because if you hold them too much brake and you add too much lean angle, what are you going to do? Space. You're going to be face planting out there and you're going to lose the front. How many of you done that? I have never done that. <laughs> Oh, several times, yeah. And so, this is where going out to a parking lot, someplace deserted, setting up a little something, hopefully the owners don't run you off. You can practice braking out there. Get the feel for these brakes that you got, especially if you put new brake pads or change the type of brake pads.